Hello, my name is Nikhil Sultana. I'm studying an MS business with human resource management with advanced practice. And today we are going to discuss about the site survey skill study. And uh, we are the five members of this group. Um, and firstly, and our group name is the AMS Consultancy Group. And I would like to go uh, with the details of each of these members. So I'm the leader, Nikha Sultana. And the deputy leader is uh, Muhammad Hazi. And uh, the other members who have contributed equally in this organization is Abdul Kurusi, Maria Mehra, and Siva Gulanta. And today, firstly, I would like to go with the overview of the company. The company size always provides a sight and hearing of people, uh, help for a people with a visual or auditory difficulties in the areas of cat's head and soft transite. To make the brand more label and more identifiable to customers, it is beginning to transform the eyesight and hearing support. And it was founded in 1996 and is one of the rulers in a local area. Alongside various training programs and a community development programs, the company offers innovations that supports well-being of its customers. And the iSign in a age sector, also known as a global assistive technology devices, and is expanding at 8.74% SEGA. The firm's market value is supposed to surplus the 6.5 billion USD by 2055. This is the expectation surplus uh, by the size service of the organization. Then I would like to go with the SWAT analysis of this organization. So firstly, I will go with the strengths. To gain the new customers, take the advantage of the local network. This is the first strength that they can grab the customers towards these organizations by the local network. And then to make use of experience personal, they have a very personalized expertise in the organizations, uh, which is one of the biggest strengths. And the another is a high quality standards and a good reputation. They have a very good reputation in the market and have an, uh, having a high quality standards uh, of this organization. And then I would like to go with the weaknesses. So what are the weaknesses of these organizations? The first, the biggest uh, weakness of this organization is a lack of national presence and a brand awareness, as they have a good reputation, but not in brand awareness. There are the other organizations who have a better brand to compare to these organizations and the scarcity of an effective marketing tools. And the another is scarcity of a self-generated funding. So they are lacking with the marketing tools and also with the fundings. These are the weaknesses. And then I would like to go with the opportunities. The opportunities, the biggest opportunities they have is the more consumers could be required through the line of the local network. And uh, to engage uh, with the customers closely, the incorporating the feedback into the services and quality improvements. So these are the opportunities they have. And they have the threats as increasing competition from the North and a local East. As uh, they have the competitors, they have the other organizations who are more effective and are good in uh, compared to size service. And the competitors with a strong branding and strategies that limits the brand's growth. So these are the strengths. And now I would like to go with the voluntary sector. What is voluntary sector? The meaning of the voluntary sector can be considered as referring to those organizations whose primary activities are targeted at creating a social impact rather than on focusing on generating a profit. So what they do with the social impact uh, rather than the profits. So the markets in voluntary sectors of the size service organization is the charities, foundations, cooperatives, nonprofit organizations, CICs, uh, that means a community interest companies, and also accredited units. So these are uh, the voluntary sectors apart from the generating of profits. Apart from this, uh, they do, uh, they have invested in this open, in this field. And the segmentation and a target market, marketing. So firstly, I would go with the demographic. 
So in demographic, uh, people of different ages, ethnicities, and sexual orientations, they have uh, in uh, physiographic individuals who require audio and a visual assistant as a result of audio and a visual deficiencies. And the another is a clients must have a powerful potential for self-control and ease, and as well as their personal growth. And then I would like to go with the behavioral. As seeks a higher standard of living, and that is a healthy and a safety, and that is not hampered by one's audio and visual activities. And then a demographic. There is the northeast region of a UK with a south hand side and get set. Then I will move to the next slide, which is a segments. They have a different kinds of segments. The fourth uh, is the health and a business groups. And then uh, they have the organization based on a faith and then uh, the recreation and a social services. And they have a housing services also. These are the different kinds of segments they have and they use in these organizations. Then I would like to go with the Potter's five forces. So they have the uh, different kinds of forces. So first is a supplier power. They have a good supplier power and they have a low customer power as they don't have a much brand of needs uh, in the market. So their customers are low. So they have a cost, uh, low customer power and a strong rivalry as they have a different organization in the market. So they have a very strong rivalry and the low barriers to new entrants. Uh, they have uh, a low barriers for them and uh, to low threat of substitution and uh, to get into the substitutions, uh, they have a low threat of that. And now I would like to pass these presentations to one of my colleagues, who is Abdel Karasi. I'm going to talk about the pastel analysis. First, we look into political. Changes in government funding to local governments. The uncertainty of Brexit. Later, the NHS is being reformed as a result of COVID-19 pandemic. To so move on to economical, the pandemic of COVID-19 had a detrimental effect on all industries. Because of the pandemic, charitable organizations have lost their income. They continued to squeeze on government spending, put a strain on charities. Moving on to social, the diverse cultural nature of the community contributes to the language issue. Individuals are often unable to participate on social occasions due to COVID-19. Moreover, the birth rate of the United Kingdom is rapidly growing. Anxiety and suspicion problems created by the COVID. Moving on to technological models. Industrial machines are now a necessity for providing high quality, which is able to complete and, and a timely universal healthcare, but they are costly and place an additional burden on IT sector due to COVID-19. To look into legal, Increased use of lawful consul for those who are dissatisfied with the level of care and rigorously reject themselves from satisfying as trustee. The last is the environment. The climate change necessitates a partial circulation towards greater substitutes sustainability and effect of such rising temperatures. Now moving on to the next slide. Porter's five forces. The first is buyer's power, supplier's power, competitive rivalry, threats of new entrants, and threats of substitutes. The four P's are product, providing assistance and education to blind and partially sighted people. Second P is price. All visually impaired people are eligible for a free full membership at site service. Third is promotion. The site service promotes its activities through newsletter, a website, events, and social media. The last is place, guest heads and south and side. Moving on to the next slide. The marketing plan for the hearing aid 
program suggested implementation of plan the brand has the has to prepare a new product plan with the hearing and program designing to range of the solution to provide then it's going to create an alliance with the specialist doctor in that field later on the program needs supports from hearing aid provider commercial organization and convincing them for the voluntary practice after the total preparation of the service program the brand is going to design promotional program and reach the target population with the television billboard advertisement as well as social media campaign now i would like to pass on to my friend hazi now i would like to speak about the promotional budget for different activities as you can see the projected revenue for the year 1 year 2 year 3 and year 4 and year 5 it will be 10 million pounds for the first year and well as second year it will be 11 year and gradually increasing and where you can see till fifth year it is like 14 million pounds and the brand has spent over 30000 pounds on promotion to reach the target population with hearing in ability and the major promotional program a uh, billboard social media marketing and television and advertisements so for the next slides you can see the gap analysis which is the low revenue component of side service may be attributed to the current low brand awareness and from the company and to address this to address this the company must review its media campaign visual com communication and text deviate or do not relate and the high human resources capital must be aligned aligned with its operational strategies poor investment in marketing activities will continue to affect brand strategy whereas coming to the positioning the core operation fall into the luxury segment as evidenced by high quality and price premium that distinguishes from other brands the reality this is the consumer then lens franchisee is the solution main selling point where you can see the first perceptual map where you can see the facilities which is run by side services and the media presence brand awareness and services where side services and henshaw and group guide dogs and moving to the next slide here you can see the ratio analysis promotional budget for different activities where are the activities you can see the tv ads billboards and social media and we have spent 17000 pounds on tv ads and 10000 pounds on billboard and 3000 pounds on social media so on return on promotional programs revenue by promotional cost the analysis has shown that the brand can gain 10 pounds for every 3 pounds of advertisement cost the brand has to spend at least 30% of the sales revenue on the promotional program as more to reach to more customers the service is going to gain has higher direct effect on the sales growth and moving to the next slide here you can see the competitor analysis and marketing strategies or you can see the competitive variables and competitor analysis with companies reputation and brand identity revenue service quality experience expertise whereas the company reputation service accesses website marketing budget media coverage and partnership visual communication so this part i will like to pass it to my mariam my colleague here thank you yeah thank you very much yeah side service position in the marketing space is weak relative to competition This is because comparatively the market activities budget is inadequate to support meaningful or effective campaign whilst major competitors are spending much the table below shows how the variables are <coughs> helping the helping us to know how size size service is able to meet the competitive competition
The low revenue component of SAI service may be attributed to the current low brand awareness of the company. We have marketing mix here. SAI service, in, in terms of the price, pro product, place, promotion, and others, you can see that it's, have, it's lacking a lot of things, whilst the other competitors are doing much. To address this, the company must review its media campaign, visual communication and text debates or do not relate. High human resource capital must be aligned with its operational strategy. In conclusion, the following are recommendations for site service. Launch brand, launch brand awareness campaign. Build and launch a new website. Effective utilization of marketing and communication channel and in all in increased advertising budget thank you yes as per uh, all of the members the recommendations are that we should increase the support services to the visual impaired population beyond the northeast charging and a minimum services fee that apart from the patients and from this region needy people can be supported with these services and also there is another recommendations which is the size survey should focus on the other physical impairments especially with the hearing impairments supporting the patients to get over the inability and to lead a free and a beautiful life and another which you have here is a hearing program the hearing program should be supported from an operating years and the supporting patients with the aids so that they can find a total program effective for them with a one-stop solution the brand has to charge the minimum for these services and it is not a core program but uh, in, uh, important voluntary services for social employment so these is uh, the presentations uh, about the uh, size service uh, case study too thank you